Hi, good morning. Happy Thursday. <laughs> it's a fun day to go to the office when it's cold and the grass is crunchy. I like crunchy grass, you know. You can hear me coming. <laughs> I tried to dress warmly, you know, not leggings. So I wore jeans because I've been wearing my leggings and my sweatpants. Well, let me tell you, jeans aren't nearly as warm as leggings and sweatpants. I can tell you that right now, but it's fine. I'm fine, everything's fine. Kim called me yesterday and she said, did you walk Penny this morning? I said, well, of course. And she said, man, I feel so bad for you having to get out and walk her. I said, but I'm warm. I mean, I put on enough that I am warm when I walk her. I said, the only thing that was really cold was my eyeballs. <laughs> so, I don't mind. They say, if you talk about the weather, it's because you don't have anything else to talk about, but I like talking about the weather. I just like for people to know. <sighs> She's been walking fast. <laughs> so she wanted her sweater off last night. She told me in not so many words. Mommy, please take my sweater off. I'm burning up. I didn't put it back on her till this morning, but let me tell you something. When I went and got it this morning, she did not move. She was ready for it to be put on. So she's doing her business, so I'll be back. We're walking on sunshine. Yeah. We're doing a feel good. Do, 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 do. See that pr pretty purple sweater? Yeah, she was ready for it. She looks like she has on little white boots. <laughs> My sister sent me a picture of her that she took when we first got her. And, man, she doesn't even look like the same dog. All that black on her head was a very light reddish brown. I'll insert the picture. It's just too cute. But, yeah, she doesn't look like the same dog. I didn't know Shih Tzu's. Shizu's <laughs> changed their color so much. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We're not gonna chase cars today. Well, here's your view of Penelope this morning. Walking through all the sticks in my yard. Could have fallen off the tree. Hey, it's better to lose a few sticks off the tree than lose the whole tree, am I right? Uh-oh, one of my doodads fell over. Oh, it's my sunflower. It'll be all right. I <laughs> ain't picking it up right now. Except Penny's going to go attack it. And I need to clean that out. Okay. Oh, and my Blink's going off that there's somebody in front of my house. Thanks, Blink. Okay. I'll be back. And now for a couple of random pet videos. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. These are my fingerless gloves. <laughs> I mentioned them in yesterday's video. And I think it was Bill that said something about wearing fingerless gloves. I think he's thinking of the men's ones. I was like, no, mine are pretty. See, I'm that girl that will wear everything I own to go walk the dog, but I won't wear a coat when I go to work. However, I, okay, so I cranked my car from in the house from my phone, but the fan thing wasn't on, so it didn't do anything. It didn't blow hot air upon my frozen windshield. It's 16 and feels like 10. Not that it matters, because <laughs> again, does it really matter if it's 16 or 20 or 10 or 
It's all cold. It's all cold. But we're not going to talk about the weather, okay? Because we're tired of talking about the weather. My windshield's clear, so I'm going to drive to work now. I'll be back. Hi. Ooh, log, it's bright. I just took 42 pictures of my window <laughs> because I had the phone thing in the wrong place. And, you know, you can hit the buttons on the side on an Apple phone and it'll take pictures. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, just in case you didn't know, you can. <laughs> And it just took a whole bunch. I mean, it just kept going. And I was like, why is it taking pictures? Stop it. It's taking pictures of my phone holder. <laughs> I don't need that many pictures of my phone holder. What have I been doing today? Thanks for asking. Well, uh, so we haven't, I haven't been to the office in a week. So there was a whole bunch of mail. It was a whole bunch of work to do in the mail. And then I had to do a whole bunch of other work. And then I started on all this other work. Well, meanwhile, I'm trying to revive a dead mouse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was giving it the CPR. I was giving it the chest compressions. I was doing all the things to revive the dead mouse. So I would take the tail and I would plug it in and and it would come back to life for just a few little seconds and then it would die again and I mean it didn't really die I unplugged the tail and started using it oh my phone's ringing I'll be back so reviving the dead mouse well I just kept plugging that tail in and I would walk off and leave it while I did other things like feed the plants and vacuum the office and all the things that I could do. And then I would go back and check on the mouse again. And I finally got it up to like uh, 30 beats per minute. <laughs> uh, it's got a level 30 oxygen, which is not really good. But I think it's going to live. Yeah. Did I remember to plug that tail back in when I came to get my lunch? No, I did not. So, hopefully, the mouse will still be alive when I get back. And I hope you all know I'm talking about my Apple mouse for my computer because I'm not doing mouth-to-mouth -mouth on an actual mouse. That was hard to say, mouth-to-mouth -mouth on a mouth. Because if I had a lift, that's how it would come out, mouth-to-mouth -mouth on a mouth. I'm going back to work. By the way, we've warmed up to... Well, my car says 41 degrees, but I think my phone said 35 degrees. That's more like it. So I feel like it's summertime out here. I mean, it's true. After you've had a day of 10 degrees feels like zero, 35 is like summer. You know what I'm saying? It's no wonder those people in Alaska are cuckoo and go outside when it's 30 degrees in shorts because this feels great. <laughs> Not really. Okay, bye. Hi. I have very exciting news. Maybe not for anyone but me. I'm out of breath because I have an appointment in five minutes <laughs> with my eye doctor to get my new glasses. Well, not the doctor, but you know, the optometrist. Why do I say you know all the time? Oh, anyway, and I say that all the time too. Whatever. I I made the appointment this morning and I asked my boss if I could get off at about 2.15 because I had a 2.30 appointment and she said, sure, just put it on the calendar. My mind went to, I'm leaving at 2.30, right? I don't know why it went to, I'm leaving at 2.30 and, and just about three or four minutes ago, I realized no, Tracy, you have to be there at 2.30. You need to hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back. No more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. So now I have four minutes to get there. I mean, thankfully, uh, unthankfully, I'm in a school zone. So, you know, uh, 20 miles an hour. 
But thankfully, I'm about to end the school zone <laughs> and I'll be up to a whopping 35 miles an hour. But the optometrist, ophthalmologist, that office is right by my house. So hopefully I will come sliding in there right at 2.30. That's what I'm hoping for. Because I don't really have any major traffic lights to hold me except maybe one between here and there. But I am so excited to get my new glasses. I cannot even tell you because I don't know if you know this, but reading glasses are not so good when you have an astigmatism. That's what the uh, optometrist told me. He said, reading glasses are okay, but they don't account for the astigmatisms. That's a funny word, isn't it? Astigmatism. I always thought it was stigmatism and that they were saying like A, a uh, stigmatism. I have a uh, stigmatism. No, the word is a stigmatism. I have an astigmatism. You know why it's an instead of a astigmatism? Because the le the because the word starts with a vowel instead of a consonant. And when your word starts with a vowel or a silent letter like H, it's an, just in case you didn't know that. Yeah, I mean, am I your uh, middle school English teacher? No, but some people need to be reminded that it's an, if it's in front of a word that begins with a vowel, not a bowel. That's disgusting. A vowel with a v, v. What am I talking about? I don't know. I'm just rambling. It's hotter than Hades in here. I'm just rambling because I'm so excited because I'm going to get my new glasses. Don't you pull out in front of me. And I forgot to plug up my mouse. Dang it. Uh, well, it's because I was in such a hurry. Uh, I mean, I took the trash out, and then I brought the water in, and then I was putting the waters in the fridge, and I was putting the Cokes in the fridge. I was doing all the things, you know, that last-minute stuff. I mean, I still got a pile of work that came in today that, that thick, but I was like, well, I'll just go ahead and get that finished up before I have to leave at 2.30. <laughs> Except it's 2.30 and I'm not there yet. Now why is my work bucket sliding all over the place? Because I did secure it with the bungee cord. I wonder if my bungee cord no longer bungees. <laughs> okay, I'll be back though. Okay? Okay. Are you ready to see my new glasses? They are transitions so they are, you know, they get darker when you go outside. Look at that cute green. I just loved it. She said, the person who helped me in there, she said, I hope you know that those are my favorite glasses and that I'm probably going to buy them for myself. <laughs> I was like, I don't mind. It's quite an honor for you to copy me, ma'am. But I do, I love them. They're very comfortable. They finally got the lens in the right, the, Whatever was going on last week, they finally fixed it. And she kept working with me. She was oh so patient. And she got them uh, perfect. <laughs> They're just perfect. So I will be wearing these from now on. I won't have to worry about the readers taking them off and on and all the things. Because I am really tired of that. <laughs> Yeah, I am. So, now I have to go to drop something off at my boss's house. And then I will be home by before 3 o'clock. So, that worked out quite well. <laughs> it worked out quite well. So, anyway, if you don't like them, you don't have to tell me. <laughs> because it don't matter because I like them and I'm keeping them. So, 
yeah and if you do like them feel free to tell me <laughs> i only want it the good way what tracy what that didn't make a lick of sense did it anyway i'll be back to say bye or something okay okay well here i am i'm at home with my new glasses on oh I just hit my glasses. Don't do that, Tracy. With my cat at my feet and my dog by my side, and it looks like it's gonna rain, so I don't know if we're gonna get an afternoon walk because I've been trying to finish up this video. <laughs> Thank you for watching this ridiculous video. I hope it made you smile or laugh or something because the reason I like to act ridiculous, act, really? The reason I like to act ridiculous and talk nonsense is to hopefully bring a smile to your face. <laughs> and if you um, didn't get a smile to your face, I'm sorry. Um, we'll try again tomorrow, okay? So that's gonna be it for this one, I suppose. But remember that I love you, Jesus loves you. I hope he's coming back soon because people will be crazy and it's uh, gonna rain. And I will talk to you tomorrow on the next Tracy Tries, okay? Okay. Okay? Did y'all already hang up? Okay, bye.